Our camera captured a private meeting between opponents of the murals and a school board member inside George Washington High School. They were inside taking a closer look at the work of art called Life of Washington. Outside, we spoke to Amy Anderson, a Native American parent who reignited the call for the murals to be removed. Her son is a senior here. She was joined by others wearing t-shirts calling for the murals to be taken down. He would put his head down and look down at the ground, at the floor when he was entering the school, uh, because he just didn't want to see it. As students enter the school, they come across a mural with colonizers stepping over the dead body of a Native American. Another shows enslaved African Americans next to George Washington. The work was done in 1936 by Russian artist Viktor Arnatov, the year the school opened. John Rothman is head of the school alumni association who is fighting to keep the murals intact. George Washington was not a saint. And the American history is not filled with saints. There are a lot of sinners, but the only way you expose something is to really address it directly. During the Civil Rights Movement, some students at the school protested. At that time, another mural was painted showing different ethnic races in a more positive light. Then and now, Arnatov's murals at Washington High have been controversial, with both sides trying to push their point across. Tonight, it's likely that the board will not vote to actually remove or paint over the mural. The sentiment of the board in the last meeting was to move forward with one of the recommendations from staff, which would be to uh, cover up the mural. So that the board will not vote to actually